What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be talking about my hair. You guys requested this video and I am a little late but if you guys follow me on Snapchat and you guys follow me on Insta stories, you guys know that I've been in the, I was in the process of moving so I finally moved to a brand new place. So the setup is a little bit different. This used to be on this side, this used to be on this side and I used to have a window behind me. I don't know if you guys catched it. If you didn't, that was the setup. <laughs> so now that I have a brand new room, I am still fixing, trying to put everything together for that beauty room tour that I owe you guys since last year. I know, I'm sorry. So I just have a little things to go on my room and then I'll be ready for you guys. So this video is the one you guys requested, which was my hair care routine. What do I use to take care of my hair? And what do I use to style it? And how do I style my short, medium length hair? Um, yeah, so if you guys want to see uh, what do I use to take care of my hair and um, as shampoo conditioner goes, and what hot tools I use on my hair, all you have to do is grab a snack and come join me. Wait, before we go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe right there. Hit that subscribe button because we're so close to 30,000 people here on my YouTube channel. And I'm like, oh my God, I cannot believe it. <laughs> so if you guys want to be part of my beautiful YouTube family, all you have to do is go ahead, hit that, snap, hit that subscribe button right there. Your life won't be the same. Okay, now let's go to the video. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with what I use on my hair when I'm in the shower. Um, I'm in the process of growing out my hair. I'm gonna put a picture right here of what my latest haircut was and actually mm, the last video that I did about hair care and my, all about my hair was actually the video on this look right here. I got it cut. I think the last time I got a cut on my hair was actually a year ago. I know it's kind of sad, but my hair doesn't grow. So I have issues with growing my hair. So I'm right now in the process of growing my hair. I'm trying to do more vitamins. I'm trying to do more things to my hair to see if it actually grows faster because my hair grows very slowly. Um, when it comes to shampoo and conditioner, I used to be obsessed and I'm still am obsessed with the L'Oreal Total Repair Advanced advanced total repair five uh, shampoo and conditioner but ever since i am in this journey of growing out my hair i recently picked up these shampoos and conditioners they're called horse hair conditioners and shampoos it's in spanish and english it says um they got conditioner de cabello for mane tail and body so these are my shampoos and conditioners that i am using at the moment um supposedly these have had like the hype on these are like they help you grow out your hair i mean it says it moisturizes it thickens and it shines it it has amazing ingredients people like i highly recommend these type of conditioners and shampoo because they don't have so much ingredients like so much chemicals that other shampoos and conditioners have this one have uh, olive oil, coconut oil, and horse tail extract. I hope whole horse tail extract is nothing bad or something. I'm thinking about it now, like, what is horse tail extract? I have been using these babies for over three months now, and I still have a, like three wash. I would say I have like I have like one more month of use in these things actually, but they're not expensive. I think I pay like $4.99 for each bottle and I'm telling you, I've had it for over three months now, so it's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> when I'm in the shower, not all the time, I like to mask, do mask on my hair, but when I do, the one that I'm currently obsessing over because of the texture, how it leaves my hair, and the smell is like beyond, you just want to eat your hair is this uh smoothie yogurt hair mask by project beauty this is pretty pretty amazing um this helps with unruly frizzy hair frizzy dry hair and that's mine i have a lot i have very dry hair but ever since i switched my conditioners and shampoo to these ones like my hair has seen a huge difference i do have to put it this like i do have to put this out there once you shower, like once you wash your hair with the shampoo, your hair is gonna feel like thick and like very coarse and very like 
like you're like okay what is this it don't get scared because once you use the conditioner it's going to transform your hair and you're gonna be like oh my god okay what is this once you get out of the shower and you do everything you have to do to your hair you are going to see a huge 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 difference i tell you so then when i get out of the shower i automatically apply these this the sanj i don't know i can never say this <sighs> Flamed words oh gladly. These are from Paris. This is the Sand. I hope I'm saying it right. This is the Salon Color Restore uh top coat serum. So because my hair is processed and I dye my hair, I like to put something on it that is going to help my color in my hair, and it's actually going to help my hair not get more damaged because of the process. So pretty much this is just a color restored restorative top coat serum. So it helps to maintain my hair and I mean if serum is good for your face, serum is good for your hair as well. And then after that, I like to use the agave oil treatment. It's this little pump right here. I use the, uh, the oil treatment. Ah. And then when I'm done with my hair, like I'm done styling my hair, I like to go in and use the revit re revitalizing shine spray from agave oil as well let me see if you guys can see that better there we go so i use these little two things for my hair um this is right after the shower and when it's da uh, damp and also do not rinse your hair with hot water the hot water is going to create more damage and it's going to create more breakage on your hair make sure that when you're rinsing your hair you kind of you rinse it with either cold water or a little bit warm i know sometimes you're in the shower it's kind of cold but just make sure you finish with your whole body and then all you got to do is rinse your hair that's what i do i just rinse my hair turn off the the shower and that's it i don't get with the cold water on my body but cold water helps uh helps lock in moisture to your hair and avoids breakage and never ever 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 never ever dry your hair with a towel the towel causes many breakage breakage causes many breakage and it's not healthy for your body for your hair so try to use a i use a um used shirt i use a used shirt to dry out my hair and that's it that's all i do so that is one of the important steps cold water rinse your hair with cold water and to use a shirt or use a there comes there's a towel i've been looking for and i can't find it there is a towel that is used just mainly for the hair so then when i am going to apply heat to my hair you have to use a heat protectant but either way i like to go in with something that is definitely going to protect my hair and this is right here the um, this is the Brioge, Brioge, Briogeo, Briogeo, Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. I like to use this. The, what I really love about it is that it smells really good. Anything that's going to smell really, really good on my hair is like a plus. Then after that, what I do is I let my hair air dry. Sometimes I let it air dry, fall asleep, and then the next morning I go ahead and style my hair. I don't style right away. I don't do blower. I don't blow dry my hair. All I do is pretty much let it air dry, go to bed, wake up the next morning, and style it. When it comes to styling, I use two different tools. I use, um, they're both from Bellamy, and they're really, really, really good, ladies. Like, really, really good. I use their um, flat iron. I can never say iron flat iron from bellamy and i also use their curling wands now they have this humongous box this humongous box comes with everything Ooh, comes with everything you need to style your hair it has this flat iron it has the blow dryer it has the 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 brush it has the clips it has all wands that you can possibly imagine and if you use my code right here you are going to save a bunch of money and you're going to have the ultimate kit for your hair you're gonna be like say what and i'm gonna be like yeah girl you have everything in that box so everything is in that box and i use i mainly use this one now because of my hair being so short but this is their i think this is their 32 millimeter one that's what i use for my hair and um yeah so and after I style my hair or I flat iron it, then I go ahead and apply a little bit of this spray all over my hair. So, 
that is it people that is I don't do much for hair care I try and avoid to do um, hot tools very often hot tools are going to damage your hair in a heartbeat tell me I used to do it I'm one that wears hair extensions I do not recommend wear hair extensions all the time hair extensions are going to make your hair break so I'm one that wears hair extensions. I'm a firm believer in hair extensions, but I only use hair extensions when I need it, when I'm going out. And as you guys seen in my latest pictures, my latest videos, I have not worn extensions because I wanted to give my hair a break. So make sure that if you use hair extensions, you're using them appropriately and you're not using them all the time because that's going to help, that's gonna break your hair. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this, um, of this weird braid. So this is my hair, ladies. My hair is still sitting at what I like to call it my bra length. Yeah, it was to my shoulders, but I think that for one year, for being with my hair for one year without cutting it, I think it has not grown what it's supposed to grow. All right, so when I'm doing my hair, what I like to do is I first like to apply a little bit of my Garnier Fructis Full and Pl Full and Plush Fruit Amp. This is like a root lifting spray mousse and it has like a lot and it comes out really fast so be careful see ah it comes out like we're in a party or something so i like to apply that on the top part right here to give it a little bit of volume as you can see it gives it a, a volume right away so we need on this side and of course we need in the back so we just part it a little bit in the back and put a little bit When I'm in, the, in a hurry, all I do is pretty much do the top part and I don't do the bottom part. Honestly, I just leave the bottom part as it is and that's how I do my hair. I'll show you. So, I go from where my eyebrows end and I part that part up. Okay. Okay. And you see all this part here? I leave it untouched. I don't really touch none of this. So I don't curl that bottom part. So we're gonna get it out of the way. There we go. I'm just gonna grab that top part. And I don't like you doing little thin um, curls. So I'm going to do about, I would say about an inch of hair. Just like that. Then I like to use the Freeze Ease Go Curler Heat Activator Spray. And I like to apply it on it. And I love this smell, ladies. It smells so good. So then I start from the back. I grab a big chunk from the back. Make sure that it has spray. Because that's what's going to help um, keep the curl in. And then I'm just going to apply it. I'm just going to grab the curling wand and curl my hair and I'm just gonna do this to all my hair I'm just gonna leave it here for about 25 seconds and um do everything to my hair so I'm just gonna do like an inch apart I'm not gonna do so much to just like have a little bit of volume and get out the door I don't want to spend so much time but if I do have time I go ahead and um, 
do my bottom part but the bottom part instead of using a 32 millimeter wand i use the 25 so the curls are a little bit uh, a little bit smaller than the top part so this is pretty much what i like to do to my hair um and that's it i don't do much again i don't style it often yeah so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you guys have any requests any other video you guys would like to see on my channel just go ahead and leave it on the description box down below and if you like this video my loves do not forget to give this video a big a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for sticking till the end Mwah. be blessed precious pearls i will see you ladies on my next video bye